Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come and like a cherry. Come and take a like a cherry. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, if this is your very first time to this channel, run on that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great family. Now that you're part of us, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Won't you join us? Let me tell you what those things are. Those things are comment, comment. Comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share. Comment like a share. Don't forget to don't forget to comment like a share. Okay, check this out, y'all. Baby, we're going to go ahead and pray and we're going to get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man, how y'all doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? You guys, today we have got oxtails. But before we get started, there's one other thing I need to let you know. You already know what I'm talking about, right? Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out, baby. Because, baby, you know the rest. Let's see if he's nice and refreshing. Mmm. 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 Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, let's go. Today we got oxtails. If you want to know how to make these, my prior oxtail video, I brought the seasoning and everything to let you know how to make it. Just refer back if you'd like to. So in here we've got the rice with the gravy over it. We've got the oxtails. We've got potatoes. And today I decided to do mushrooms instead of carrots. Y'all know how I'm at my mushrooms. Over here to the side, I've got nothing but my lips hot sauce. And if you would like to use a bottle, make sure you look in the description box. I put the web at the top so you couldn't miss it, okay? I don't know if I'll be needing it or not, but I kind of want to take that taste for that. So we're the same. Okay, y'all, let's get it. Woo! These oxtails are so tender. Ooh, that one there. Oh, good. A piece of it broke out. There is the first bite of the oxtails and gravy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. For those of you guys that want to know, because I'm sure some of you are going to ask in the comments, yes, I put sugar on my rice underneath here before I got on the camera. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I cannot eat rice without sugar. Nope. Cannot do it. Cannot do it, y'all. Y'all, these oxygen are so tender. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. It's a six-hour wait on them, but baby, they are delicious. This time I started to do it like in a pressure cooker like y'all told me last time. But honey, oxtails is too high to be taking chances on them. All right, y'all, here's one of the little ones here. Just so you'll know what it looks like. There it go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all ain't so tender. Um, you guys, the weather here, it still look cool at night, but the weather is phenomenal. Baby, it is phenomenal. Like in the daytime, it's 70, 80 degrees. I am so thankful for it, too. Because we're already in the house, and we have like a 20 by 20, patio area that's built uh, on the front side of our home where we do our barbecue and stuff like that. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> y'all is good. Now, I told y'all, I thought I wanted to taste my hot sauce. So I'm going to see. Uh-oh. Y'all is just falling apart. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Oh. 
And at least we can go out there. You know, I have some outside time. Mmm. Mmm. Well, that's good. That's real good. Mmm. Mmm. You guys, I haven't had this since I had it on the show last time. Dog tails. I haven't had it since we had it on the show last time. And baby. Oh. I had a cousin. Mmm. That follows the show. And she went a minute to some oxtails. I said, no problem. Me and my legion, we can do that. Um, so you guys, my city is still on lockdown. Here where I am. Oh. Although, I'm trying to think. They didn't give us an update on how long it's going to be. Mm. So I guess it's still 30 days. For them to see how, like, the, you know, the lockdown is going to help with everything that's going on. Mm. Now, we're going to talk about this today. I'm just letting you know the status of my city. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 So we're starting your week out with our scales. Mm-hmm. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the Sam's World Lessons Boy Challenge yesterday. Mm. I hope you enjoyed that, you guys. We were supposed to be having chicken gizzards today. We ain't got them. Let me tell you why. <laughs> Lord, y'all had me a jalapeno back here, but I don't think I'm going to eat it. I think I'm going to use the hot sauce instead when I need a little extra heat. So, y'all, let me tell y'all what happened. Y'all know we were supposed to do yesterday was supposed to be your chicken gizzard day. But Saturday, which you didn't get a video, we were supposed to be mm, What's supposed to be your Sam's World video? Honey? Now, y'all know that live that we had Saturday night was called Rock. If you are still not catching the Friday night live, and now we went, we're went, we going Saturday, you know, just by spells. If you're not catching the lives, baby, you are missing it. Baby, them lives be called Rock. Mm-hmm. That be crunk, y'all. That really do. Oh, these oxtails are so good. Oh, y'all are so good. Mm-mm. Oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Y'all, this is good. Y'all, I was so hungry today that I couldn't wait on this meal. I had to eat me some noodles. Mm-hmm. I did. Um, I guess today ain't gonna be less is more. <laughs> I guess not. Actually, yes, I will. I'm gonna save enough on here for production and little lips if they want it. Mm. I'm gonna do my best anyway. <laughs> These oxtails is good. They good, y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-mm. -mm. Oh. I remember the last time I cooked this, y'all, we had, believe it or not, believe it or not, we had several, several people, several questions were asked about, you know, uh, oxtails. Do they really come from an ox? <laughs> and I think at one time they may have. Mm. I looked it up one time, so I think at one time they may have, but it's actually the tailbone of a cow. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. They just call it ox. I saw that, but I ain't gonna say it. They just call it ox tail, okay? So it is beef, and baby, it's good. It's real good. I like these little bitty ones. 
Mmm. Mmm. A whole lot. Mmm. Mmm. But like I said, I was gonna try it in the in the um, I was gonna try it in the pressure cooker, like y'all said. But baby, like I said, they is too high. They be playing around with. They just too high, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Here one of the bigger ones. I meant you see it. That's one of the bigger ones, y'all. Baby, look at that. Look at that. Look. At, hold on. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at it. <laughs> Baby, it's good, too. And like I said, you can put whatever vegetables in it that you like. The potatoes, I always put in it. Mm. Oh. Because with the gravy, I just love the potatoes with it. Okay. Uh, Big Ben has that coconut here, y'all. Mmm. Oh, it's just good. Mmm. Mmm. That Greek seasoning and that roasted herb garlic seasoning. Baby, they just give it a taste that is magnificent. And I had a lot of y'all last time. Mmm. A lot of y'all just add. Oh. Baby. Baby's good. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. What well, I can say, I was saying I had a lot of y'all that asked me last time something. What about it? Oh, about the cost of them. Generally, you guys, like if you get two of these, like this one and this one, the bigger ones, they only come like two in a pack. It'll be like 10 bucks. But you get a pack of um, like these smaller ones like this. Mm. They'll probably have like seven or eight in it. And it'll be 10 bucks as well. So you pick your own poison about, you know, the quantity that you want. Mm. This is two packs. But I have a few more. Already in there. I mean, left in there in the pot. Ugh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. So, this is what we're going to talk about today, y'all. Ooh. Um. Oh, hold on. Let me get one more bite. Let me get one more bite, y'all. Let me get one more bite. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Y'all, this is good. This is real good. For real, for real, for real. Um, so, today. Mm, I'm finna grab another one of them big ones. Y'all get me another bite. But hold on. Let me go get the conversation started. Okay, you guys. Today, we're going to talk about our eating habits. I want to talk about how your eating habits and what you eat play into how you feel about yourself. Believe it or not, it does. Um, you guys, our bodies are our temples. In the Bible, some people say that it's referred to as our church. Your church is your body. It is. Um... Because that's what God fills up. That's what the Holy Spirit fills up. It fills up your church, your temple, you. So, you guys, how you treat your insides is what comes out on the outside. That's just what it is. I often talk to you guys about how when I do my mukbangs, yes, I do eat big meals. But if you ever look at my mukbang, very few are you going to find where just everything on my plate is unhealthy. Very few of you are going to find that way. Unless it was like a challenge or something that caused it. Y'all, look at it. It's just falling off the bone, y'all. Baby, this is good. This is good. Mmm. Well, I'm saying that to say, y'all. Mm. Y'all, good. What you put into your body 
as far as vegetables or, in my case, a bad thing is salt. However, my blood pressure is in check and my sodium is not out of whack. So, because I love salt and I've always eaten salt like that, I got my salt check up here right now. I just ain't put it on there. Because the food is seasoned well enough to where I don't need to. Okay? But what I'm saying is, you guys, you have to put healthy things in your body. You have to. Your body needs healthy things. It needs healthy things. It needs vegetables. There are certain vitamins and stuff that you get from vegetables that you can't get from protein. You can't get from meat. And it's also so important, not only with your own health, but the way that you train your children, the way that you feed your family, you guys, all of that is very, very important. It's very important. And how you view yourself, you should really tie it into your food. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you view yourself in a manner to where it don't matter, you know, a lot of people like that. They're like, well, it don't matter how I look or what you think about me. That's true. It doesn't matter how people think about you. It really, really doesn't. But how do you think about yourself? How do you think about you? You know what I mean? Because, y'all, this thing is all about yourself. It's about you and how you treat you. I tell you that all the time. It's about how you treat you. And if you care about yourself, you care about your body, you should translate into what you eat. Because like I told you, what you put in it is what you're going to get out of it. It's just, yeah, it's what you're going to get out of it. You know, the foods that we eat now, like back in the day, more of our foods were, you know, more wholesome, I would guess I would say. Because back then, most people cooked, you know, they came home and they cooked meals for their families as opposed to fast food and stuff like that. And I think that that was just a healthier way of living back then, you know, in the old days. Mm -hmm. You know, and like I said, if you don't care about you, you're not going to care about what you put into your body. You're not. You guys, you have to have a balance in what you eat. Cholesterol, high blood pressure, obesity, um, a lot of that doesn't come from gluttony. A lot of that comes from the choices of food that you eat. It comes from what you put in yourself. You know what I mean? Your own self-image. Everybody ain't built to be small. I'm not a small person myself. Everybody's not built to be small. That ain't how God made it be. But everybody can have a balance to what they eat. That's a personal choice. That has nothing to do with genetics or um, some people say, well, I just inherited being a big bone, being big bone. I did too. I come from a family of large people myself. But baby, me, myself, and I, it's not about my physical size. It's about them tests I take when I go to the doctor. It is. That's what it's about, y'all. You have to go to the doctor and keep yourself checked so you know where you're at, so you know what you need to alter, okay? If you don't care about your temple, why would you walk around and talk about a person going to respect me? Da, da, da. I love myself. I know you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. If all you're eating all the time is foods that are maybe good to you, but are bad, Everything fried, everything fast food, every, you know what I'm saying? Over and over again, everything, everything, everything that's coming from either a bad place. Fast food, you guys, is made for mass production. It is made for you to get a hungry sensation out of a smaller meal that you get like from fast food. That is what it is. So it's going to be packed with saturated fats, trans fats, um... All the things that triggers your body to say, well, I'm full, and this is good. But that's not healthy for you. Don't get me wrong. Anything in moderation, I don't care what it is, mm. is okay. 
But y'all, you got to care about your body. You have got to care about your body and you've got to care about what you put in it. I mean, you do. You got to care about it, you guys. And you can tell me that you care about yourself. And all you eat is things that are unhealthy. You don't care nothing about yourself. You really don't. Everything is a balance, you guys. It's all a balance. All of it is. It's all a balance. You know, I put mushrooms in this one today instead of carrots. Like, carrots, I think, are supposed to be good, like, really, really good for your eyes. But you got mushrooms that are good for other things. But, <coughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got potatoes that are good for other things. You've got every vegetable there is. There is some unique worth to it. That's why vegetables are very, very important. And if you raise your children and you don't raise them to eat vegetables, what are, what are you really doing to them? You know, don't get me wrong now. Mm. A little Lips is a picky eater. But Little Lips was raised eating pig ear. Chitlins, collard greens, you know, broccoli, uh, carrots. She was raised eating vegetables. Therefore, as a child, mm, growing up, her taste buds are already seasoned for those things. Even And they will carry on even to her adulthood. Now, some things that you were raised on eating, oh, excuse me, y'all. Um, like, there's some things that you're going to be forced to eat as a child that when you get older, you just, just ain't going to eat it. Mm-hmm. You just decide, I ain't eating that. Mm-hmm. Y'all, there's very few things I was brought up on that I don't eat, though. <laughs> but, I do know some people that Mm. Like in their adulthood, like they won't eat beans. Because they say they ate beans so much when they was a child, because it was a, a cheaper way to of feeding people, beans were. You no, know, you can get a big old pack of beans in the grocery store for a dollar dollar and a half. Now by the time you soak them beans mm, and let them puff up, you like to dry beans in a pack. By the time you soak them beans, let them puff up hang. And cook your beans. Baby, you got a pot full of grain. Oh, you got a pot full of beans. You know what I'm talking about? You can feed a long, you can, y'all know what's wrong with my speech today. You can feed a whole lot of folks off a pot of beans. Especially if you got something to get you some cornbread with it. <laughs> hey! I can remember when I was a child, uh, and my father's mother, my grandmother, we got a sweet grandma and who has passed, bless her heart. Shout out to you, sweet grandma. Um, there was a lot of us, grandkids, a lot. There was a lot of us. And in the summer times, we would always go and stay with her. Baby, we'd be in the front room. Some of them would be in the bedroom. We'd just be scattered out everywhere because there was a lot of us. And we all would be there. And grandma, every day you could look for her choice would be pinto beans. Baby, you could look for a pot of pinto beans to be on just by every day in grandma house. And I keep in mind now, this was back in the 80s where you still got, you know, wick vouchers. Stuff like that where they sent beans and commodity cheese and that kind of stuff to the homes, you know what I'm saying, of the people that were, that qualified for those services. And um, that's how she fed us, y'all. That's how she fed us. I'm telling you, I came from very humble beginnings on both sides as far as, uh, you know, my mother's side, they always raised what they ate, you know. We killed, we raised, killed, and slaughtered uh, pigs on my mother's side of the family. And, uh, you know, we just all came from humble beginnings. And it was such a great time of life for me. It taught me to be 
independent. It taught me to be, to appreciate things. But anyway, with that being said, you guys, the more to it all is if you care about yourself, if you care about you, watch what you put into your body because what you put into your body can tell a different story. It can tell that you really don't care about yourself, okay? Because we have to care about health. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. Because we have to take care of our health, you guys. We have to. And if you care about you, you'll care about what you put in your body. And if you haven't thus far, start now. Start now. Start putting better things into your body and keep up with your vegetables. If you are a person that just don't like vegetables, it's a whole bunch of them out there. Just start trying them out. Even if you don't know how to cook them, just start trying them out. Some Most vegetables you can eat fresh anyway. Um, and there's something out there that you can choose that's a healthier choice than french fries. Or in this case, in my plate, potatoes. You know what I mean? Um, potatoes do have a nutritional value that is good for you in some way. But potatoes stick to your ribs. They do. They stick to your ribs. And then on top of that, too, it's always better to eat a food any kind of way that's not fried. Okay? Now, you guys, remember, take care of you. Take care of your insides so that you can get a darling presentation on the outside, okay? Take care of yourself, you guys. Okay, y'all, we're going to get up out of here. Make sure you remember to wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wear your gloves when you go out. Make sure you take your gloves off before you return to your vehicle. You don't want to bring anything that you kept off your hands that's on your gloves to bring it to your vehicle. Hey, hey, hey. That should be common sense. If it's not, I told you anyway. Okay, you guys, make sure you take care of yourself and your family. I love you guys so, so much. Do not forget to call and brighten up somebody's day. That is so, so important. And it should be one of your daily goals. If you haven't thus far, get on your cell device. Get on your telephone. Go knock. No, I don't knock on nobody, no. <laughs> hey, don't knock on nobody, no, because if you come to mind, I'm not asking. You can't come in. Come right out. No. Anyway, you guys, I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Try my new legion. Thank you so much for being here. I love each and every one of you guys. You could have chosen to be anywhere else in the world. But you chose to be here with us. We're so glad you hit that button to join us. We love you all. Me and my legion want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. What? To all my existing legion. Make sure y'all eat your vegetables. Put good things into your body. I love you guys so, so much. You already know, right? You already know. Girl down. That's what, uh... What's that girl's name? Big Free, that's what she said. Girl down. Anyway, y'all, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you have enjoyed. I love you all so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you decide to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. I love all of you guys. And I'm going to see you next time. Period. Bye bye. Mwah. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if I got that out right, y'all. So I'm just going to tell you now. You guys take care of your bodies. Take care of your bodies. We want you to be here a long time and be healthy and prosperous. And a lot of that starts and ends with what you put into your body. It really, really does. You can't tell me that you love yourself and all you eat is fast food, no vegetables, no water. I was some, that was another point that I was going to bring up in the video, and I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, no water. You need water for your body. Definitely. Definitely. Water is, um, you know, water is a makeup of a certain, a large percentage of what your body is. You need water. Oh, excuse me. You need water, you guys. You definitely need water. Remember, take care of yourself. And the way you take care of yourself is from, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, y'all. And the way that you take care of yourself is from the inside out, okay? Love yourself as much as you think you love other people and everything will be okay. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Bye-bye. Oh, I'm good. I got all these bones over here. These are tails. Where you come from? I didn't know you had came downstairs. Mm. So thank you doing your homework. I love you. You don't love me too. <laughs>